gosh, everybody loved your new kitchen here. Our new kitchen. Yes, our yes. new kitchen. Teamwork. You yes, know? that's right. That's right. Uh, hey, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Building a Better South here at Blackberry Hill Road. Almost said Edgewood. But yeah. No, no. We still are at Edgewood. But yes. this, this is our soon-to-be new home, new construction that Jason and I have built. And we are really heading towards the finish line here. Yeah, so we so showed close. you the outside, showed you the kitchen, mm -hmm. and today we're gonna show you a little bit of the great room. Yes. Your cool granny chic office. Yes, or kind of formal sitting room too. Yeah, and then uh, maybe the staircase. So yes. Let's talk about Pecky. You wanna talk Pecky, Cypress? Yeah, we can talk Pecky. <laughs> All the way from Georgia. Yeah, our which good is... friend Todd Wilson with Wilson Design and Construction mm -hmm. hooked us up with his Georgia connection. You've got this great pecky cypress. So I don't know the true meaning, but I think it's some kind of bug or oh. something that eats through the uh, eats They're through the They're all gone though, right? Yeah, the bugs? yeah all gone. All okay, gone. good. I'm just thinking uh, like, great, did we bring termites into the house? <laughs> I, I might be wrong, but I don't know. Pecky. So it's cypress, good southern wood, used outside a lot, but the pecky has, I've always loved pecky and then yeah. Gosh, our another good friend John Bynum had done a cool fireplace and kind of inspired some some work here. And we took it and put the uh, the beams. So we did clear cypress on the beams and then just put the pecky. You know, it's trying to balance a little bit of the rusticness of the pecky with some of the you know the formalness of what we had going. The girliness. Here. The Go girliness. Ahead. Go ahead and uh, say it. Yeah, this is a good balance of us. This room. Yeah, um, I think so. You got your, your soft pink on the walls. Yes, which is soon to be softer. This yeah, is kind yeah. of a base coat for a faux finish that we're going to have done. So hopefully it's not too shocking for you all. The boys are like, oh my gosh, it's like a flamingo in here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it mixed, I was like, you got to see it all finished. I know, know, I was like, by the time the drapes get up and the furnishings get up, it'll soften. But I do love the pink. And, it, and the walls right now, if you love them as is, it's my favorite and go-to, which is Pink Shadow by Sherman Williams. Yeah, and the pecky, it, can, it was a little bit yellow when we installed mm -hmm. it natural. It looked great. We debated whether to paint it or stain it. And right. then we just kind of did some samples of what the floor is, this mm -hmm. beautiful white oak. And we just put the softest little uh, coat of uh, stain on it. Just yeah, to... just a barely hint of a whitewash. Because again, we wanted that texture and detail to come through. Because that's why you install Pecky, because you love all those little nooks and crannies in the wood. And our mantle. So you guys have been loving the mantles we've been building out of wood. I always get a ton of questions mm -hmm. on the wood mantle. And that's what I was going to do here, and I love that wood mantle, kind of mitered, very clean. The only downside to those is you still have to have a non-combustible space from the wood to the firebox. So six inches typically on the side, 12 inches on the top. And I wanted this one super clean, so we went with a stone mantle. So this is all my combust non-combustible space, so I can hold it a little closer to the fireplace. Mm -hmm. We did have to do a hearth there out in front of the firebox. I think we're going to look for some logs or balls or something in there. <laughs> Probably logs. We've got enough balls. Cannon balls, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and I love the fact that it just blends so beautifully with the pecky cypress. Uh, they don't contrast each other. No, neither one is the star of the show. They just both complement each other so The TV's well. gonna look great up here, right? No, no, no TV above this. Uh, we'll do some artwork above it. And again, it's, it's okay if you need to do a TV above mantle. I just prefer TVs to be hidden. That's just my thing. And this is probably not where we're going to watch a lot of TV. It's just nice to have it um, when we want it. So we've got the TV hidden behind here in the doors, as you can see. So we've got built-ins on either side. And again, tying into that read it material that Jason loved to do in the kitchen. We're tying it into the built-ins in the great room here. I've got these adorable rattan sconces that we've got up there. I found those at Ballard Design. Love those. And we painted all the trim in here pure white, which is kind of our go-to white that we use often. And let's talk about the doors too. I mean, we wanted to flood the space with natural light. Mm -hmm. And we've got 12 foot ceilings, uh, 10 foot throughout most of the main level but we did elevate this to 12 foot. So we kind of cut the doors, you know, it was, we played off, we had eight foot we showed you in the dining room last week. Right. And 
we started with eight foot and we were going to kind of match, but I wanted the transoms to be a little bit taller in this space. Again, just, just because, you know, yeah. something a little bit different. So we shrunk the doors down to seven foot and then these transoms are almost three foot tall. So yeah. just again, wall of windows. We had all that steel work behind right. there, but I'm sure you're going to soften it with some drapes. Right. We've got drapes coming in just, just to kind of in between the windows, just to soften it a little bit. And then, um, those doors actually access what is our future screened in porch area. We've got the porch built, we're just waiting on the screen. So we'll be able to open both of those doors and just have extended living space, which I love. And you got your and we've got big, our big old fan. Big old there. fan out there, <laughs> yeah. So this will be a, a nice space that I think we'll enjoy all seasons except winter. Yeah. And we'll keep the doors closed then. Uh, you wanna talk about your, your light fixture here? Yeah, so this wasn't originally what we planned, but you know, sometimes in life things happen. These are my lovely bird lights, which we had at Edgewood. I've had them now, gosh, for probably five years and I keep moving them around. Um, I love them. I found them in anthropology on a sale and they no longer have them. I wish they still did, because I can't tell you how many people wanna use them. Um, but we had planned for an oversized lantern, but I keep getting notification that it's back ordered. So it started in April that it was supposed to arrive, and now I'm finding out that maybe in August it'll be here. Yeah. So anybody got any connections at Visual Comfort? <laughs> we called and called. They're like, "Do you want to pay extra shipping yeah. from China? You can get it." We're like, "All right, bird light." So the bird light it is for now, which I, it works well, and it's one of my favorite lights. So yeah. do you want to talk about the flooring then a little bit? Yeah. So. Our friend uh, Chad over at Carpet Specialist mm -hmm. worked with us and gosh, shipped How in. many samples? Because oh. that's one thing. I gave Jason, I was like, <laughs> uh, you just pick the flooring because he was very picky in his mind what he wanted. And I said, yeah, uh, that's one task I'm going to hand over to you. You pick the flooring. Yeah. Well, so he literally waited till the last <laughs> possible minute to make a decision about Noah it. Noah was worried. He's like, oh, we're going to move in. And I was like, I'm going to pick if you don't pick. <laughs> Well, I just, you know, I wanted something that was this, you know, and it just took yeah. me a while to, to, to find, find it. it. So I think it's eight or nine inches. We actually glued down. Once you get a little bit wider, it makes yeah. sense to glue it, put a moisture barrier down. So it is a pre-finish. Pre-finish, yep. It, they said you can sand it down if something happens mm -hmm. and refinish it. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. I know, fingers <laughs> crossed. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of a, um, more of a matte finish. It's got a couple rift and quartered boards in there, mm -hmm. but for the most part, it's just a plain song white oak. And yeah. it looks beautiful. And it, it's a light floor, but it's not super light. I yeah. think there's enough warmth in it. So. so great room flows into the kitchen that way. And then right. we're gonna go check uh, Granny Chic Central. Yeah, into the Granny Chic room. So yeah, so here's the stairs. We've got our foyer that guests will come in through that front interior courtyard and then here we are in, come on in. Yes, ma'am. The, the come on. Granny, granny Chic room. <laughs> so, this will be, well, we're calling it my office, but there won't be a desk in here. But I can yeah. sit and work at, at the comfy chairs. But um, this will be really kind of a formal sitting room. So, I'm bringing my pink, pretty upholstered couch that I yeah. have um, currently in my home office at home. And I've put wallpaper on the walls and I was very specific and picked out, usually you pick out all the trim details, but I was very, very specific and picked out every single little trim detail in this room. Yeah. And I loved it. I wanted it to look like an old English cottage, like room with all the little details. And, and I love the way that so it We've got some out. different levels and tiers mm -hmm. to it. You've got your egg and dart on the bottom, mm -hmm. that little dental or corbel detail that you got up on the ladder and spaced them just right. Yes. And these are cool little details. Yeah, so even we have this little detail that I picked out and selected that fronts the shelves here. We did Schumacher wallpaper, which is a wallpaper I've used a lot throughout the house. They're one of my go-to wallpaper brands. And then again, just to tie in that little read it detail, even just the scalloped edges on the door. We've, we've had this door style before and mm -hmm. used it. I loved it. Um, this is going to be just some great storage for me. And then the mantle. Again, I wanted it to look like it was an old mantle that I had found antiquing and that we restored. And I love it. I love the little ribbon and bow detail here. And then I just went with Shadow Storm 
marble for so the So we talked a little bit about the non-combustible space over there. So you get a taller mantle mm -hmm. with the, you know, with putting the non-combustible material there and then building. So, but it looks good. And then the way Michael laid out the wallpaper in here, I mean, it's, he took the time to mm -hmm. get the seams and everything just right and symmetrical on the bookcases. I mean, the detail is just perfect. We put a nice little, uh, border around your mm -hmm. Carrera fireplace there and uh, yeah so you have your very clean stone <laughs> mantle in our family room and I, I have my very girly granny sheet kind of our mantle <laughs> in in the sitting room yeah so no, but I'm gonna funny. enjoy this space and again I had bought two of those bird lights way back when when I found them um, and this is the light that I, I'm putting in here and it's staying in here. It's one of my favorite. And we've got two sconces because I've got a nice uh, bookcase piece that'll go in between those. And I love how we framed out the entryway mm -hmm. into this space. We opted not for a door, right. but just the nice wide side lights and transoms. It's so pretty. Yeah, so this will just be a nice sitting quiet area and it frames in the view of that beautiful staircase it does i do and i always a fan of a side light and a you can sit here on. and stare that's right at the stairs <laughs> you <go>. bunny <laughs> yeah so then that takes you back out to the great room and this stair case that is never ending i don't know i lost count on how many i don't know the guys were putting spindles, spindles in, in the, after that we spindle. have. and we went with a little deeper tread so it's almost 12 inches so we ended up with three spindles per tread but it gives you just <laughs> a little bit more foot space on there and carried in the white oak material on mm -hmm. the newels and the railing yes and I, I love these big newel posts we touched on those a couple weeks ago that we wanted something similar to the ones we have at Edgewood and I think these check the boxes I love so them we'll see how this works once we move in and there's sound going but <laughs> I opted to not have a door to the basement which or, I wanted I or, wanted to close or, off the basement here and have a door and he wanted it all open so we're gonna see how that but works I out. love the fact I just wanted to put that on film forever <laughs> Hey, no, no film needed to know that I'm always wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we'll document it. Yes. But I love the look, the open feel of the basement, and then looking upstairs there. And so we added some cool trim work. Um, the way, so we had three windows down below and two above, and it was difficult for me trying to get the panels laid out just right. Mm -hmm. So we ended up doing one panel design, and then we ended up taking the nosing at the stair level. So we did it on both levels. So at the second floor height, we just took the stair nosing and ran it all the way around just to break up the panel design. And then I think it really helped as you go up, we mm -hmm. elongated the panels. Those cool lights we found at market that kind of pull in. Yeah. Uh, I think those are visual, visual comfort. comfort. Yeah. yeah. And then your beautiful chandelier, the electricians uh, so diligently. Uh, I know, I know. Electric, we had to uh, really kind of um, configure the ladder situation to get that one hung but yeah the staircase wraps around opens up to that second floor loft and so we carried that panel design down there and then it was funny during construction we were going to stop the panels here and just really keep this as a staircase all yeah within one and then we're like you know what let's panel this wall and stop it here and then we built the built bookcases and I thought you just did that because the walls were pink and you were trying to put as much <laughs> white instead of pink in. Well, you know, I wanted everything to be symmetrical. And then I'm like, gosh, we got this little section. Let's go ahead and put a couple more panels there. No, so I love the, it. The trim guys kept joking every time I came in and they're like, all right, what are we paneling today? I <laughs> I'm like, I think we're out of space. Yeah. I think it turned out great, though. I think it, it, we, when you see it in the space, it, it completely makes sense. And that's part of designing and building a house. You can have the best laid plans sometimes, but until you actually get in the space, sometimes you have to change things and plans evolve as you're doing them because certain things just make sense. I know. So, gosh, what a great tour so far. Yes. Um, most of the first floor, so what do we have left for next week? Yeah, so, so tune in next week and we're gonna show you the master suite. So we have the master bedroom on the first floor, master bath, master closet, 
and first floor laundry, which is right over by the master bedroom, which is my favorite because I love having the laundry close to the master personally. Me too. I've, I've grown <laughs> to enjoy that. Uh, guys, thanks for all the positive feedback. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Building a Better South, and how can folks find you? You can find me on Instagram, just listed as Gretchen Black. And I'm Jason Black with Artisan Signature Homes. And together, and together we're building, building a, a better, better South. south.